Hi, in this video, I will show you how to permanently disable Microsoft Defender in Windows 11. To disable Microsoft Defender in Windows 11, open the virus and thread protection settings and turn off real-time protection. The drawback of this method is that Microsoft Defender will turn itself on again after a while, even if you deactivate it. Before I introduce you to a simple, user-friendly tool for permanently deactivating Windows Defender, I would like to show you how you can toggle real-time protection using a PowerShell script. Start a PowerShell command prompt as administrator and add the following command. Press enter to run the command. To re-enable real-time protection, change the last part of the command to false. You can also deactivate or activate real-time protection easily with a PowerShell script. To do this, start Notepad and insert the following script. By the way, I found the script on the Windows 10 forums, so thanks CB3602 for posting it. I may leave a link in the video description if I feel like it. Now save the script in a child-proof location. Use the file extension PS1. Next, create a shortcut to the script. Copy the command as described in the forum. Copy and paste the file path then press the next button in the dialog. Finally, execute the shortcut. When this message appears, you can already guess that something has gone wrong. Right-click on the shortcut file and click on the Advanced button in the Properties dialog and activate the Run as Administrator checkbox. Now try it again. You can now switch real-time protection on and off with a simple mouse click. As promised, I will now show you a method to switch a Windows Defender permanently. Before I do that, I would like to answer the question you didn't ask, namely, why should you turn off antivirus protection? It may happen that Windows Defender does not allow you to execute certain files. These are false positives. If you know what you are doing, you don't need to be patronized. Auto Hotkey, for example is one of the legitimate applications that is often incorrectly labeled as malware. And that brings us to the topic. What a great introduction. No need to talk about who is the most unpopular head of government in the world, according to the New York Times. Wintune is an awesome free software based on AutoHotKey that lets you optimize Windows settings for more privacy, speed, and less bloat. Scroll down and get your free copy. If you are familiar with programming, you can also download the source and execute or modify it. I download the already compiled version. This is the main window of Wintune, where you can make all kinds of useful tweaks. The best thing about the program is how easy it is to use. A tooltip usually shows the function and what the setting does. To switch of the useless, snooping assistant Cortana, a simple click is enough. You will find further privacy settings on the privacy tab. Disabling Windows ads couldn't be easier. I'm not going to discuss every detail of this great program here today. Just a brief overview of the most important functions. We'll come back to this tab in a moment. And while we're at it, a few useless programs can be uninstalled right away here. Wintunes has a practical editor for host files, which allows you to block certain websites and servers. Press the button below to clean up the start menu. To disable Microsoft Defender, go back to the optional tab. In contrast to the methods already shown, a system restart is required here. If you check the settings for virus and threat protection after the restart, you will see that the service has been deactivated. This method therefore should be more stable than the previous ones. Unfortunately, Windows is annoying us now with a recurring message. Let's see how we can shut this sucker up. This much can be revealed. 
If you click on settings and then turn off account protection notifications, it won't help. These universal Windows applications are getting on my last nerve. Run the regular control panel application and open up security and maintenance. Uncheck the virus protection checkbox, press OK and restart the PC. So basically, that's it for today. This was my video on how to permanently disable Windows Defender. See you in the next one.